God bless everybody. I hope everybody's safe. Everybody's good. Uh, today is Genesis 49, Sunday, 5-3-20. Alright, so yesterday we read, um, or actually, yeah, let, me say, let me say something now. I was going to recap all of Genesis, and then I started doing the recap. I went through all my videos. It took me hours, man, and I was writing down all the stuff that I think is important, trying to recap Genesis. Man, that didn't work out. I ended up almost rewriting the whole Bible and still thinking I left stuff out. So I'm not going to do the recap of all of Genesis because every little thing in the Bible is important. you got to read it yourself. So just try to get what you can out of these videos. Read it yourself still, though, because... It's all the stuff in between the lines. Everything's important in here. So, yesterday we read, Joseph's father Israel was ill. Israel blesses Joseph, or Israel blesses Joseph's sons Manasseh and Ephraim, blessing the younger son Ephraim greater than the older son Manasseh. That's what we read yesterday. So, let's get into this reading. All right, Genesis 49. Jacob blesses his sons. Jacob and Israel is the same person, but I don't know why. Sometimes they'll call him jo Jacob, sometimes they'll call him Israel. Jacob blesses his sons. Then Jacob called for his sons and said, Gather around so I can tell you what will happen to you in days to come. Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to your father Israel. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, the first sign of my strength, excelling in honor, excelling in power, turbulent as the waters. You will no longer excel, for you went up to, so you, for you went up onto your father's bed, onto my couch and defiled it. Simeon and Levi are brothers; their swords are weapons of violence. Let me not enter their council. Let me not join their assembly. For they have killed men in their anger and hamstrung oxen as they pleased. Cursed be their anger so fierce and their fury so cruel. I will scatter them in Jacob and disperse them in Israel. Judah, your brothers will praise you. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons will bow down to you. You are a lion's cub, Judah. You are a lion's cub, Judah. You return from the prey, my son. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down. Like a lioness who dares to rouse them, who dares to rouse him. The scepter will not depart from Judah, until he, t or the scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet. Until he to whom it belongs shall come, and the obedience of the nations shall be his. He will teach, he will tether his donkey to a vine, his colt to the choicest branch. He will wash his garments in wine, his robes in the blood of grapes. His eyes will be darker than wine, his teeth whiter than milk. Zebulun will live by the seashore and become a haven for ships. His border will extend towards Sidon. Issachar is a, is a raw-boned donkey, lying down among the sheep pens. When he, sees how good his, when he sees how good is his resting place and how pleasant is his land, he will bend his shoulder to the burden and submit to forced labor. Dan will provide justice for his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan will be a snake by the roadside, a viper along the path that bites the horse's heel so that, it, so that its rider tumbles backward. I look for your deliverance, Lord. Gad will be attacked by a band of raiders, but he will attack them at, the, at their heels. Asher's food will be rich. He will provide delicacies fit for a king. Naphtali is a doe set free that bears beautiful fawns. Joseph 
is a fruitful vine, a fruitful vine near a spring. Those who or a fruitful vine near a spring, whose branches climb over a wall. With bitterness archers attacked him. They shot at him with hostility, but his bow remained steady. His strong arm stayed limber because of the hand of the mighty one who of the mighty one of Jacob, because of the shepherd, the rock of Israel, because of your father's God who helps you, because the Almighty who blesses you, with blessings of the skies above, blessings of the deep springs below, blessings of the breast and womb. Your father's blessings are greater than the blessings of the ancient mountains, than the bounty of the old age hills, let all these rest on the head of Joseph, on the brow of the prince among his brothers. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning he devours the, the prey. In the evening he divides the plunger. All these are the twelve tribes of Israel, and this is what their father said to them when he blessed them, giving each the blessing appropriate to him. All right. Like I said, everything in the Bible is important. Read between the lines. Read it for yourself. Get as much as you can out of, out of these videos, but also read it yourself. And God bless everybody. Amen.